It was a remote high mountain area, and uh, I was aware that there had been some strange goings on uh, in this area from accounts of the people who had been there. And uh, it was a long hike in, and uh, uh, I got in there in the late afternoon. I set my uh, tape recorder up. I put my mic, uh, taped it to a tree uh, a little ways away from where I'd be bedding down, and uh, then proceeded to wait along and see what developed. Al Berry recreates for us what happened on the night of October 21st, 1972. Later on that evening, after it grew dark, we'll, uh, I was tired from the hike in and I uh, had begun to doze off when all of a sudden uh, I was awakened by some strange sounds. It was very startling. I, uh, I didn't know what to think. Uh, I had very mixed emotions. On one hand, I was wondering, well, could somebody possibly be out there doing it, uh, some human being? And on the other hand, uh, viscerally, my uh, knees were shaking and my uh, insides were turning a bit. And I was wondering uh, if maybe what I was hearing was some creature that was uh, stranger than anything that we knew. We've had the sounds uh, analyzed since then. and. Uh, uh, at the University of Wyoming by a uh, professor of electrical engineering there. And uh, the results are uh, the sounds could not have been made by man or any known animal. Professor Curlin of the University of Wyoming confirmed to In Search Of that Al's tape was tested and shown not to have been artificially manufactured.